Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe made a special statement today at the Temple Trees and addressed UNP activists. A group of civil society representatives met with me last week. They asked for a cabinet decision to support the 20th Amendment. They handed over to me a draft bill which was to be referred to the cabinet. On the 17th, MP Sumandiran told me that they had held discussions with the JVP on the abolition of the executive presidency. He further stated that the president had informed him that he was willing to support the 20th Amendment. The president telephoned me at 8.16 a.m. on the 19th morning. He asked me whether he should call a cabinet meeting to discuss the 20th Amendment. I informed the president that the civil society had made a request that we do so. Sumantiran had also informed me of the president's stand on the matter. Therefore, I told the president that it is appropriate to call the cabinet and discuss it. Ravi Karnanayaka did not call me that day. At about 9 in the morning, the cabinet secretary had informed my secretary that the cabinet meeting would be held at 3 p.m. I called the UNP ministers at 2 p.m. and informed them of this matter. There was no agreement regarding the 20th Amendment. Before I met the cabinet, the president was informed that there was no agreement among the ministers. At the beginning of the meeting, I informed the cabinet secretary in front of the president that there was no agreement among the ministers and that submitting the cabinet bill would be useless. We decided that it was appropriate to leave the final decision to each party. If there is a question regarding the statements of the members of the cabinet, it should be discussed in the cabinet. Failure to do so would violate cabinet tradition. Therefore, I will only show what happened here. I will not insult anyone or make any remarks. Even though the Prime Minister made such a statement three days after the immediate cabinet meeting was convened, the following is what the UNP cabinet ministers had to say after the conclusion of the meeting on the 19th of this month. The President clearly said that he does not have anything to do with this and it was done based on a request made to him. I feel that there is Sajid phobia behind all of this. This is not regarding the executive presidency, but the Sajid phobia. I do not know who has this phobia. How can you act like this when a presidential election has already been announced? What sort of a joke is this? When a gazette has been issued calling for an election, we feel that the Prime Minister had reduced the power of our faction by doing this. We found out that the Prime Minister was the start of all this. And he is doing this with a mindset of defeat. We report, you decide. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe has resorted to nadir political tactics over the years at each instance his leadership was challenged. When information regarding the bond scam was being revealed by the media, attempts were made through the Pitipana committee appointed by the Prime Minister to sweep the issue under the carpet. Through the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, who was defeated in over 26 elections at different levels, attempted to snatch the power of the executive. Laws and regulations were created using people such as M.S. Sumandiran and Dr. Jayampati Vikramaratna to ensure that his position is protected. The end result? Utter political chaos. When the voice of the party became stronger that there should be a leadership change as the party did not recover from its losing streak, the Prime Minister said one thing but did something else. At almost all of these instances, committees were appointed under the guise of a party reformation process. The recommendations of these committees never bore fruit as confidants of the Prime Minister delayed the party reformation process. This has been the modus operandi of Prime Minister Rani Vikram Singha throughout his leadership of the United National Party.